You want your relationship with that narcissist to work, don't you? You want to keep them in your life. You want to make impossible possible. Great. In this episode, I'm going to walk you through a blueprint. I'm going to give you a framework to know what not to say, what to say, how to behave, how not to behave, and how to retain them in your life. Stay until the very end because each point is going to be super important. You will learn the strategy. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. The topic for today's episode is five ways to make your relationship work with a narcissist. If that sounds aggravating and you are like, what the hell? Stay until the very end because you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Before I get started with the main content, let me lay the foundation by saying you have to follow a set of strict rules. You cannot modify them. You cannot operate differently and then expect a positive outcome. You have to go by the script. Number one, do not fall ill. Do not expect anything from them. You must not have any needs whatsoever. You cannot express your emotions. You cannot be vulnerable because that is seen as a weakness, as a character flaw. If something tragic happens, do not expect them to give you a shoulder to cry. Do not expect them to rescue you. For example, if a loud one passes away, you will be all alone. They won't come and hug you. They won't hold you. They won't give you any embrace. They won't make you feel safe in the hardest moments of your life. Why? Well, they are dead emotionally. What can you expect? They're cold. They have been zombified by their experiences a long time ago. There is no soul within. You may be married technically, but you are all alone. You are a single married person. There is no relationship. You have been divorced emotionally a long time ago. You are in there, but being in there does not mean you are with somebody. Yeah, you are with somebody and that somebody lives with you in the same house, under the same roof. Maybe you eat together. Maybe you sleep in the same bed. But sleeping with them is like sleeping with a stranger. Eating with them is way worse than eating with strangers because strangers will show some basic courtesy. This narcissist, you know how he or she traumatizes you. So do not expect any softness from them. There's none to be found. Number two, let that narcissist take control of everything. You cannot have a say because your opinions do not matter. Let them control your thoughts, your emotions, your beliefs, your perceptions, your life, your breaths. Let them control your money because according to them, you do not know how to do life. After all, they know a lot more than you. So how can you open your mouth, swallow your tongue, you cannot expect to have a voice and coexist with a narcissist. You cannot have problems because problems cannot occur when you are in a relationship with them. If there are problems, they must be caused by you. What is freedom? That has to be erased from your dictionary. You cannot have a self. That has to be compromised. You have to erase your personality. Let them chip away at your self-esteem and self-worth for you cannot have any because they don't have any. You have to let them decide. You have to let them make all the choices even on your behalf. You must let them control your kids and their lives. You cannot intervene. You cannot ever express your love because that narcissist has a lot more offer than you. Or whatever that narcissist is doing to your children, that is justified. So you cannot revolt. You cannot rebel and you cannot demand a better treatment. Rule number three. Make that narcissist the alpha and the omega of your life. Cut off all ties with your friends and family because they don't matter. Or, as per them, they are your enemies. You must not share your relational issues with your best friend who has known you for 30 years. So what? This narcissist is your ultimate person. You have to keep everything a secret. Why? Because the narcissist feels embarrassed and you have no right to shame them. No, you were made for this purpose, to be their doormat, and you're the problem for not letting them walk all over you. So become silent, cut off ties, don't see your family, don't talk to them. 
all that you have to offer your attention, your validation, adulation, admiration, your energy, your emotions, every bit of you has to be offered to the godlike narcissistic false self. You must forget those who gave you birth. You must erase your childhood memories. You must let go all of those people with whom you have spent your childhood. So what? Narcissist is enough to fill, fulfill all your needs. They should be the one you should totally depend on. What is the problem with you? If you want this relationship to work, you gotta break yourself to fit into their mold. Number four, kill all your emotions. Become numb, act like nothing impacts you. Why? Because living with them is like being stuck in a tornado, in a never ending storm. There is no respite or relief from it. Don't you expect peace? You can never relax. There is no calmness waiting for you. This is going to be your life until you are here in this physical form. That is your story. So let go of those expectations. Nothing is going to make anything better for as long as you stay because this is then your fate. Or should I say, this is the fate crafted for you by that narcissist. You have to become rock-like, totally flat emotionally, unaffected by good and bad. You have to act in a very numb, inhuman way in all situations because there is extreme emotional volatility. Sometimes they're really good, other times they're bad. How can you survive such an emotional roller coaster? You cannot. So stay stable, let go and become like a tree. Number five and the most important rule, to keep that narcissist happy, you got to accept their interpretation of events as the truth and completely deny your understanding of the reality. If they tell you north is south when you know it is north, you got to accept that. If they tell you sky is green, we cannot argue and say sky is blue because in their mind, you're wrong. You can have a brain, but you can't have a mind. So accept their reality as your reality. You can't resist. Resistance is going to make it worse for you. You have to let go. You have to let them penetrate deep down into your psyche and become the only voice that guides your behavior, that informs your decision-making process. If they tell you it's your fault, you should at once take responsibility and do everything you can to fix the situation. If they tell you they didn't do anything wrong or if they did, it was because of you. For example, if they cheated on you, it was because of you. You were not available. Accept it and try to be more available. See, this is the only way you can keep them happy. You can never say no. You can never ever argue or defend yourself you cannot explain, that does not matter. You have to forget that you have the capacity to, to think for yourself and you have to let them think for you. If you can do all of these things, then congratulations. You can make your relationship with that narcissist work. What else do you think a person can do to make impossible possible? Let me know in the comments and with that, Let's bring this episode to an end. I will talk to you in the next one. Until then, as always, let the healing begin and continue.